Now after adding the name server on your Godaddy, now let me show you how to install WordPress on your new website. As I have already told you, I have added multiple websites on the same hosting plan. So for adding WordPress, you have to click on manage hosting and it is going to open this cPanel. And here if you go down, you will find option called domains add on domains. If you have new domain, then you can click on domains. I am going to add another domain to the same hosting plan. So I have to click on add on domains. As here you can see, I have already added one extra domain that is streamerforman.in. Now I am going to add one more domain to the same hosting plan. And my domain name is networkingplus.in. Done. And document root will be, let's give it same networkingplus.in. Click on add domain. Boom, it is done. The add-on domain networkingplus.in has been created. Now let's go back. As you can see, new domain has been added successfully. Now let's go forward and install WordPress on this new domain. For this, click on this option, go down to the software section and click on WordPress managed by Softaculous. As here you can see, I have already installed WordPress on these two websites. Now I'm going to add it on a new website. So let's click on install. And from the list, choose whether your apps website have HTTPS or HTTP. Hence, my website has HTTP. So I'm going to choose the first option. And from the drop down list, choose your website name where you want to install the WordPress. So this is my new website networkingplus.in. So I'm going to choose it from here and then click on quick install. Go down and click on install. Just wait for few minutes until the installation process get complete. Congratulations, the software was installed successfully. Now from here, if you go down, click on return to WordPress management now from here, let's click on login. And as you can see, we have successfully logged in to our website and WordPress has been successfully installed. Now next step is we have to create account and we have to set the password. For that, on the right hand side, you can see this is the admin section, right? Just click on edit profile. Go down. Keep the username as admin. This is a default username. Enter your email address. And from here, set password. And click on update profile. So we have successfully installed our WordPress on our website. Plus we have added a new password on our website. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Kindly hit the like button. And if you're watching this video for the first time on my channel, do subscribe it and also hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.